So you have seen we go off an algorithm here, ideally theta of n more tighter bond. How what is the what the call intuition of that in practice here? But only pain we got it up in solution number three is extra space. Is there any way we can able to take it of the space at the same time we can maintain the time? Again, the only way to really get a betterness is to find this, see the look at the existing solution. Is there any possibility of really making up betterness? Let's observe a little more deeper into the solution number three. So what are we doing in solution number three? We are trying to get into one single scan. That's definitely a good idea. Since I want to know whether one is repeated anywhere, I'm taking help of this extra array to look up quickly, you know, to find it repeated or not. This extra lookup is causing a space. How can you take up this space? If you take up this space, again I have to do linear scan, which is not good. Or if not, I have to go for sorting, again n log n is coming up. Then I want in single scan, at the same time I want take up space. How is it possible, sure? The first time you may think that it cannot be possible to take up this space. But again, if you look at the problem statement, there's one more, uh, the same hint, if you observe again, the range is one to n minus one. That means they're giving some kind of hint for us to come up with what they call some kind of elegant way to remove this space. Since the range is 1 to n minus 1, can we really what they call use what they call in place memory here? That means instead of going for external memory, can I really use the same array here to remember this true and flag kind of behavior? All I need is two states. First time I have seen, or is it so coming after first time? Since there's only two state information in a way, instead of going for an extra array, same array here, can I use what you call some kind of a trick where I remember element comes first time or it's coming up after first time here. So because range is one to n minus one, all elements are guaranteed to be positive here. So if element is positive means at some point, you know that it is what you call coming up first time. Maybe if I can use a negation for that, that means I'm disturbing the array here. I'm expecting the array to be mutable, the array needs to be changed. But if that kind of flexibility is given to us, I can able to use the same array to remember this kind of, you know, two state information now. Let's make a more concrete understanding of this idea. Let me just take up this idea here. Now we'll, then we analyze it. So we call this a solution number four. Label, later we give it up. Let's take this data. So zeroth index, first index, size is nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. My original data is one, four, six, seven, eight, three, two, five, five. Now, so previously when first we took one, we are going to other array to look up. Now don't go to other array, go to same array, means which is in place same place without extra space. That's what in place meaning. Now go to the one here. So see the element, it's positive. Positive means what? One is seen first time here. But I want to really flag it. Previously I updated false to true anyway. I cannot do some kind of a random thing update. If I do, I lose the data. Without losing data, still I want to remember one is seen first time. Since range is positive here, one to n minus one, I can apply negation make this number minus four. Now, that means one is in first time. Now go to the second element. Second element is minus four. So take absolute of that, which is four. I'm not losing the data here. Go to the fourth index now. So it's positive here. Positive means what? Four is in first time. That's why remember that by negating the value over here. Now, third element is six, absolute, anyway, six. Go to six now, value is positive. When six is seeing first time, remember that by negating the content of it. Now seven here. Now go to seven here, first time is positive here. Remember that by negating this. So I should not circle it because we haven't seen this. Now so seven is finished up. Minus eight, absolute value. Take absolute here. Go to eight and away here. First time you are seeing it up negate this value and I should not do this. So minus five. Now three, go back to three. So value is positive here, negate it. Minus two here, 
so take absolute value here go to 2 so positive now negate it here it's finished up so 5 here go to 5 first time negate it up it's finished up again absolute value 5 now go to this vertical 5 index but value already is negative that means we have seen 5 already once now we are seeing second time here that's why it's a duplicate here now written 5 as a duplicate so this is what the what they call the improvement you can think of from solution number 3 and it's possible only because in the current problem range is given as a positive issue if arbitrary elements would have been there both positive and negative so we might not really uh, you know this negation trick might not make any sense that's why for this problem that's how normal interview they always twist it they give some kind of hints they drop the hints anyway they want you to think take those hints take into the better solutions now the thought process how you really bringing a better solution is what they're always interested about it we don't want to remember the solutions but instead take the hints apply the mind at the moment keep on building a solution is what the essence of the you know the interview process so this is what item number what do you call four so just to summarize it we take the element instead of going to the lookup array we go to same array instead of making false as a true now we make positive value as a negative valuation now if if i go to the any index where value is already negative here means it's the second time we are seeing it up hence is a duplicate that's what this algorithm is all about what is the name we want to give for this kind of a thought process so here this seems to be specific to this problem maybe a kind of a negation trick makes sensible here again i call it as ad hoc strategy I really call it as a negation trick we are playing it out on this problem Let's analyze time and space complexities here. So to compare with previous three solutions now. What is time complexity? What is space complexity? Again, what is the low level operation? Core low level operation we are doing it up as part of this logic is we take the element, we go to the index, we compare, is it positive or negative? Comparison. And after that, it might be required to really update to the neg negative value. So, Multiplying with minus of that, minus one here is also other operation. All this is some number of what they call low level operations. In general, we can call this as C. C is a constant number of operation. For each element we are doing it up. N elements we are daily doing out. C star N. So that's where maximum, the worst case we require it. So how do you really write it up? This is where we need it up. Theta of N we can write it up here. So theta of n, space is going to be constant because we are not using enough extra space here. Few variables are enough. So c variable c is constant units anyway. So that's where theta of n space is going to be go one here. But only issue here to really get this possible in practice was array should be mutable. Means we need to allow the array to get modified. If array is not possible to mute, then this solution doesn't make any sense. Even if you want to keep the original array back, you can one more scan you do it up. So make these values as positive here, then you don't lose content, but mutability is a must. That's what we call it as solution number four. So n algorithm and constant, and so th that's where, if you really compare with all these remaining three solutions now, this is as good as solution number three, but space-wise is much more efficient and efficient. Let's experience this idea also in the code to see it up, you know, to get better understanding about this algorithm four. Let's move on to So we have seen solution for the n algorithm without extra space. How can we really make, uh, you know, how to write a code for it? Again, we use Java here to express it. Let me copy this solution number three. We'll copy this. So we'll just rename this as duplicate four. Now I, I don't need this auxiliary array. Now I zero, instead of going to auxiliary, so here we take enough phi like the way we used to do for previous problem but this time you should take absolute here that's where math dot is absolute so that uh, element enough phi since we are modifying that to negative value take absolute then instead of going to auxiliary array we must go to same array so instead of checking for true we check for negative if it's less than zero means definite duplicate if not update this to enough temp should be equal to 
we should update this to negative value that's where I'm multiplying this with minus 1 now, so again a dummy return value is necessary just to format it now this is what find duplicate for so just take up find duplicate for call now let's test for the values now so the values we're trying was 10 million 100 million share so find duplicate for let me see how much time this guy will take it up it's 100 million in a way solution for you know, let me run this first 0 0.628 let me write this so sometimes when you're doubtful run this for multiple times here now take an average that is accurate more accurate estimate let me run this run this let me run this you can see around 0.58 and 0.61 let me write this as so 0.6 is what you call 100 million share for 10 million share let me see how much time it will take it up run configurations arguments now let me remove one zero out apply run 0 0.08 to get more accurate understanding take an average 0 0.8 8, 7, 6. So let me write this as 0 0.0, 0 0.07. But why is it taking extra time here? You can see previous one 0 0.024, this is 0 0.07. One thing definitely is impacting was absolute shift. So, so this absolute is what we are using it out here. So that might be giving up this kind of what they call a slight change in this time complexity. But space we are saving definitely this boolean array, all this extra memory, so is no longer required. That's what we call it as solution number four. How you can able to see in an actual uh, practice. So that's the kind of experience we really want to have it. So we don't want to really believe some other says this, or some book says this, or some internet article says it's your experience what matters. For initial problems here, take every idea, try to really experience that understand intuition of what this algorithm complexity means now once you get to sufficient level then when a new problem is given it up you can judge by yourself now how to really build up a better and efficient algorithms here so this is what we want really you know illustrate as part of this video